gonna be taking the tail rotor. We have to remove the cross head, the retaining nut, and of course the tail rotor. For that, we're gonna take the uh, cross head support links from this section here. We leave it connected here, and the piece of links from the tail rotor blade going to be removed from outside. From inside, it's impossible because the ball is blocked by the bracket for uh, track and balance. To remove the cross head, we need to take that safety wire, that locking, and the retainer. Inside of it, we're gonna have a cutter pin and a knot, which after removing it, we'll be able to slide this out. Now I disconnected pretty much the cross support linkages. These links pretty much now the whole uh, cross head is isolated. We're gonna start working on this section now. When you're gonna take this lock out, you don't you don't need to unbend it. Normally, pretty much it's gonna be aligned again. The way you know this uh, lock is good, you're supposed to have uh, you don't supposed to have any gap here. When you put it straight, it should be uh, flush. It should not be any gap around, meaning it's bent. If it's bent, you remove the lock. Okay. That's why when you take it apart, do not unbend it. Leave it like it is. It's gonna be a line again anyways. Now we just spray the torque and take the retainer out. When you take the retainer out, it should be full degrees like it is. This is lubricated two shot every 50 hours. Here we're gonna add a cutter pin and nut to lock the inner races and this retainer is for the outer racer. And that is a thrust bearing. We're gonna take it off soon. Let's show you later. Now in order to take that cutter pin, it's very complicated, it's kind of deep inside there. And because I disconnect everything, what I do, I push the thing, and now it's gonna be easy to remove. You see, I just slide this cross head inside because it's not connected anymore, and I can work easier, okay? Now that I take the cutter pin out, I'm gonna take the knot, and that'll be the washer, and right here, the throat's bearing. This is a one-time use nut that I have to replace when I put a new one, when I install everything. Take the nut washer, and pretty much now we can slide out the whole cross head. Now this is not connect anything. I can slide out. You can take the whole cross head. Okay. And now we have the splines. We got the bearing inside, we can take it off and pretty much uh, this is uh, the whole cross head of this helicopter. Next, uh, next step is to remove this safety wire and take this uh, nut out. As you can see this nut was damaged by the component return overhaul uh, criteria. Maximum allow in this area is 20,000. It looks this is pretty much bad, you got a limit. We're gonna inspect, investigate, and if it's within limit, repair it.